Hey, what's going on to all you girls and guys out there that are working hard? Uh, just wanted to make a video for you. Uh, it's December 24th, but it is so warm out today. It is incredible here in the Northeast. Uh, but we just got done with a pretty big snowstorm. And so I want to take a second and I want to make a short little video for you, maybe five, 10 minutes. And I want to show you how to hook up a Fisher snowplow in case you're new to it. If you've uh, you know, been plowing snow for a lot of years, or if you know, you've been through all different kinds of plows, this is not the video for you. Uh, this is going to be kind of like, uh, maybe your first time, maybe you just have some questions like, uh, the, the simplicity of it. Uh, so if you're a seasoned, uh, veteran of snow plowing, this video is probably one you're going to want to pass on. Uh, but maybe you're new, maybe it's your first time having a Fisher plow. Uh, I want to show you a few, uh, simple things that you can do uh, to make your life so so much easier uh, with hooking up uh, your Fisher snow plow. So let's check it out right here right now. And so here is uh, the Fisher plow. It's uh, the Fisher uh, minute mount uh, two. I know that this is, I think, like the second to oldest kind of model on the straight blade. Uh, now, I think, what is it, HD2 or something they call it. Um, but uh, this is eight foot um, blade, straight blade. Uh, if I had to do it again, I would not get a straight blade, but that's not a conversation for right now. Uh, and it's the HD, the minute mount, uh, just two. Uh, it's not that second generation or um, the newest one, if you will. I don't know if it makes any difference. I'm just going to show you uh, the model that I have. And uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I make absolutely no claims to be an expert in any way, shape, or form. And so if you uh, are watching this and you have a lot of experience and you have a better way to do it, please throw a comment down below. Uh, not only will you help someone else, but you'll help me along the way too. And uh, so just for uh, the sake of knowing what I'm hooking up with, it's like I said, uh, the eight foot Minute Mount 2 Fisher Plow. And then uh, I have a uh, 2015 uh, F350, all right? And uh, so uh, I don't know uh, if there's differences uh, with anything else, but this is all that I have uh, to show you, okay? Uh, so. The first thing that you're going to want to do is when you uh, get in your truck, you're going to want these. Um, this is where the plow hooks into and the pins uh, go through these holes. You're going to want to line it up here so that they slide right in uh, here. Now, um, this is something maybe somebody else will have a better suggestion on. But when I pull in, I like to pull in and I almost like to bump the plow forward just like just an eighth of an inch kind of thing just so i know i'm slammed in there because if you stay too far back when you go to push the headgear up on the plow uh, the truck won't be far enough forward so i like to go in until i almost feel like a little bump and that, i feel like that's just enough so um let's hop in the truck here and uh let's pull it on up and uh get this plow hooked up Sometimes you'll find that uh, maybe when you put it away, if you're not putting it away on an uneven surface or when there's snow on the ground, that might present a little bit of an issue. But we'll see uh, what happens here in two seconds. I don't think uh, that it will. All right, and so next, uh, what I like to do is, I know that uh, different people say to do it different ways, uh, but I always lower uh, like my headgear all the way down before, like when I take the plow off. So I don't need to, at least I don't think I do, but if you're no better, I'd like if you can comment. Um, but I don't hook up the electrical and put it in float, because it's already in float. And uh, so I like to come to the front of the plow and uh, grab underneath the headgear 
uh, here, the, the metal frame, don't grab the lights. And uh, you pull up this bar to release the pins so it's halfway up. And then just push it in and well, that was it. And uh, so when you push that headgear up, let me grab the camera. When you push that headgear up, those pins now snap into place and uh, you're ready to go. So then what you want to do is, let me adjust here a little bit. Then what I like to do is I like to pull up the kick, the, the plate, the stand. Make sure you snap this into place. Um, and then I like to uh, hook up. This is a two plug. Make sure before your storm or whatnot, you're packing this thing full of, uh, you know, the grease. But uh, I like to hook that up. And then on the other side, And then you are officially all hooked up, ready to go. Let's check out the inside of the truck. So just to go backwards uh, a little bit, but now that I'm sitting in the truck, I should have done it before. So if you want to hate, you can. But <laughs> um, when you're pulling in uh, to hook up, I know that uh, I've seen some different uh, suggestions that people have had. Um, but for me, I've kind of just found a spot that I look at on the lights and I kind of line it up with the line right here on the hood of the truck. There's a little dot on, you can't see it in the video, but there's a little dot on the back of uh, the plastic like cover for the light. And I just line those two things up and um, it lines the plot right up. So, but if there's some different hacks that, not, I don't even wanna call it a hack. There's some different ways uh, that I've seen people do um, like putting tape or something like that on the light. So if that's something you wanna do, go ahead and uh, do one of those things that uh, somebody else uh, suggests. So. Well, you got your controls here. Um, I like I said, this is a straight, just a straight blade. So this control, I don't use uh, any of these uh, outside ones. But uh, you turn your plow on, and uh, then you raise it up, and uh, your plow goes down and up, and uh, that's it. Left to right, left right and you're all hooked up ready to go so that's how easy it is to hook up a uh, fisher minute mount plow i know there's like a lot of haters um it should be called a 20 minute <laughs> or whatever um, but really if you know what you're doing um it it does go quickly you can run into some issues uh if you put it on uneven ground i used to store it uh like on dirt and that was certainly challenging sometimes but if you have the opportunity to store it uh, on asphalt or a solid surface that's level, there's no reason why it has to take 20 minutes. Uh, not that I can think of. Uh, if you store it away on snow or in the mud or the truck's uneven, sure, that can become difficult. And uh, one other small thing that I learned is, and I don't know if this would be all the time, but it, it, when I was storing it on um, like the dirt, an uneven surface, one thing that I did learn is if you put the plow away, like with your back loaded with salt or maybe uh, like I put blocks back there to give me some weight. Uh, if you put it away loaded and then you take everything out and it's, and you're, you know, it's so if your truck's down a little bit, okay. And so your front's up and you put it away and then you take all that weight out and it kind of levels out maybe a little bit, it's not going to line up exactly the same. So one thing that I've learned is uh, to put it away uh, with the stuff in the back in the same way that you want to, uh, put it back on that you took it off. So during the season, I sort of, and I probably, I know it's not the best, but I just kind of leave the weight in the back of the truck. Uh, so it goes on and off. But uh, in like the early spring, if I'm taking it off for the last time or in the fall, uh, I try to either put the weight in first uh, or so on and so forth. However, I took it off the last time uh, because it will put that off a little bit and then you might have to do some adjusting on the front by the plow. Um, so just a little tip that I've learned. Um, it's not rocket science. Like I said, I, I've seen some different like videos and I've watched some things online and people like just 
hate, well, people hate on anything. That's just life. But um, if uh, some of these, if you do it right and you have the right conditions, it is a minute mount plow. But if you're in the mud and you're all uneven and it's just, um, you know, it's not gonna line up, yes, that can be really difficult. Uh, but under the right conditions, you can certainly do it uh, pretty close to a minute for sure. So uh, I hope this helped at all. If you've watched this video and you have a better suggestion, I would love to learn because like I've said, I don't know everything. Uh, I didn't grow up doing this. And so uh, it's all a learning experience for all of us. So if you have a suggestion, throw it down in the comments. I would like to learn from it. And maybe somebody else that happens to stumble across this video, uh, they can learn from what you uh, know as well. So uh, thank you for watching if you made it this far and if you could uh, if you would like the video and subscribe to the channel that would be really appreciated and uh, so thank you so much. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. All right. Bye.